Welcome to FrameReady. In this short video, we're going to take a look at the customer information block of the work order file. Customer information is all entered and stored here. If you're working with a repeat customer, you can search for them by their first or last name, company name, or phone number. All of this information is being pulled from the contacts file. If you need to make changes to any of this information, you need to change it in the contacts file. If the customer is already entered on the work order, simply clicking on the contact file icon will take you directly to that customer's contact record. Any changes you make in here will instantly be updated on all of that customer's work orders and invoices. Clicking the work order icon will take you back to that customer's order. Clicking the green X will remove the customer from the work order. It will not delete them from the contacts file. Have you ever had difficulty remembering a customer's name? Try looking them up by phone number. Phone numbers can be entered with or without dashes. If the customer is new to your shop, select the New Customer button. Enter their first and last name and click Search. FrameReady will search the contacts file to make sure that that customer doesn't already exist. If there aren't any duplicate contact names, it will create a new record in the contacts file. It's important to enter as much information about the customer as possible. Be sure to get the customer's email address so you can send them an email message directly from FrameReady when their work order is complete. The Keywords section provides you with a way to track your advertising as well as mark any customer preferences. The Notes field appears in all files where the customer information is displayed. The Customer Note field does not print on any printed documents. This concludes this video. For more information on the individual work order blocks, take a look at our other videos titled Understanding the Work Order.